YouTube, excellent to finally be recording for you guys. Um, this is Jazz from Subometry. We're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, every other social media you can possibly think of. What we are is basically a team of vapors who is trying to promote quitting smoking, helping everyone out there who's trying to get into vaping, know everything they possibly can about the process, and how to make it a long-lived thing. A lot of people try something to quit smoking, and they just jump right back on the wagon, and they do it three or four times before they finally decide, you know, this is something I need to do to change my life. We're trying to make that process a one-time deal, switch to vaping and help people out, save a lot of lives here. What I thought was that we would just go ahead and do this video as the first video. It's going to be a review video of the Maraxis Mod clone, which Stylish Vapes was kind enough to actually send to me. It's also going to be a giveaway video and I'll be telling you what we're giving away at the end. So first things first, big shout out to Stylish Vapes for sending me the Maraxis Mod clone. I will say that I do love this thing so far. I have actually had a time to play with the authentic one, seen countless clones, have touched countless clones, vaped on countless clones of the Maraxis, and I will say that I like them all. They don't really differ too much in quality or performance to me. But today we're going to be reviewing the one from SMY Mods, which I had never really heard of. You know, let's jump right in and autopsy this bitch. Okay, so here is the Maraxis Mod clone. Um, it came in this SMY box. This is Mod I Am Back. Um, nothing too hardcore about it, just a box. Um, the mod sat in there. It says, I don't know if you can see that, it says that they make uh, the King, PH22, SMAP, Chaiyu, Nemesis, and the Maraxis clone. So. Um, I'm not really sure about those, haven't really had a time to check those out. But let's get to looking at this Maraxis. So, first things first that everyone notices is the very cool body design. Um, these teeth here actually point, da uh, point down and up respectively. The top has four teeth and the bottom has one, two, three, four, five, six teeth. So it's pretty cool. Um, very nice machining on this mod, I will say. The only thing I've noticed that I don't like, in these little ridges here, actually I think one of them is a little longer, um, but, let me a little deeper, not longer, sorry. But in here, if you slide your finger there, you can feel resistance on the edge from where it seems like they didn't smooth it out. And you know, that's, you know, that's something that could, you know, you could probably overlook, but that's just me being nitpicky. So let's see all these parts. Let's take my Sony. BTC4 battery out. It comes with your, of course, your button, these little air hole connector pieces, bottom teeth, tube, top teeth, another air hole connector piece, and then of course your top cap. So first let's take a look at this, this button here. It's a pretty nice button. Um, don't know if you can really see that engraving, but it's pretty nice. It is actually etched in there. It's not like, you know, stupid laser etching or anything like that. Um, to remove this, I've seen a lot of people just try to plug tweezers in there or something. I just push the button down and twist, and it comes right out. Now, I've heard a lot of people talk about hot finger and, um, misfiring issues. But I found that if you replace the spring, you should be okay. I haven't had time to replace this one, but I've heard from a lot of people that that's a really good fix for this type of issue. On this mod in particular, that is. Because the spring does kind of suck. Um, it's really not the best. It's really flimsy. You know, it bends very easily. It's just not, not really good. But I was really surprised because the spring in the top cap is, like, excellent. It's one of the best springs I've ever seen. We'll get to that in a moment. But you just twist that back on. Uh, don't screw it down too tight because that's definitely when you get that, that hot finger. I've only experienced it once and that was when I took it apart for the first time and screwed everything back way too tight. So these pieces are pretty nice. Um, well machined. They're pretty, pretty cut and dry. It says it's stainless steel and brass. Um, I'm sure it's not a very high quality brass from what I can see, but I'm going to try to put a patina on it and see how that sticks and then I'll let you guys know. And then we'll know 
precisely how good that brass is. This is probably the best machine piece other than the top cap. Um, really, really nice deep threading in here. Uh, just screws on just like butter. Um, like I was saying before, the only thing is one of these, I don't know if you can tell, it's right here. This one's actually higher than the rest of them, and it's a little bit more pointy, and I'm not sure why. But that's also the one with that main issue, where it didn't feel like it was sanded. So I'm not really sure if that's just a problem with this particular one that came out in production, or if it's um, the entire line of SMY Maraxxis My Clones. Tube, once again, straightforward. You know, just very straightforward. Just getting a little bit of grit in there. Make sure you clean that out. Um, I just didn't have time to do it before this video. But yeah, that seems like that would be very easily cleaned. Uh, doesn't seem to be in poor quality at all. All these pieces actually seem like they're in pretty good quality. This caps is, I mean, this teeth piece is almost the same as the other one, just a smaller version. The, I will say that most of these pieces are pretty heavy for a mod. They're pretty freaking heavy, and the mod by itself, like all together, is just damn near a weight, so, you know, get ready for that if you want this mod. Now here you can already see there's a little bit of patina on that brass, uh, that contact there. Um, for this, you kind of just want to twist and it should come out. you got to really press down and twist, but it should come out, no problem. Okay, now in here, you have this cap here, this little insulator piece. This spring, which is really good, really, really good. It would have been nice to have this this sort of spring also on that button there. But, you know, such is life. Um, have your contact here. Like I said, it's getting patina on it, so I've got to polish that up and get that off. The other insulator piece for the top, which this just goes right through there. And that is it. And then you have the top cap by itself. Pretty nice design on the top. Um, it does have these little ridges here for airflow. So your your Addy, like if, let's see, just have a tube here with a uh, 24 gauge Canthal dual microcoil on there. Not a super cloud chaser, but you know, such is life. And that is that. Hey ho! But you see, it doesn't really go all the way down there on that top cap. That Addy has a little bit of space, but you know, it's it's not anything that's overly dramatic. It's not going to cause you to hate the mod or anything. Uh, these threads actually in the top cap are pretty good. I'll talk about those while I'm here. Um, I haven't had any issue with removing or installing, you know, any Addy on this. Um, I normally use the Tobe. I love it. Um, this is a B1 actually. But, you know, I've never had any issues with that. So let's get that put back together, just put the insulator in, contact in, spring in, and then you're just going to get that screwed back in. Threading is really nice. And one of the other things I wanted to say about the button before I forget, I like the fact that it's simply a push button. It has a very, very long throw there because of that stupid spring. But um. This is one of the best buttons I've seen. I like that it doesn't have any type of um, reverse threaded button. I tend to have issues with those, but this is just, you know, you can lay it flat and it doesn't push by itself, so it won't be auto firing or anything. Um, to put it back together, people put it up, put it back together in all these weird ways. <laughs> you know, because you can, you can just put this on and then, then put your tube. Then your other tooth piece. Then your little air hole piece. Oh, screw it on there. And then the other air hole piece. And this is what a lot of people do. They've been doing this. You know, to give the mod a different look. I personally hate that. So. And there she is. So, I'm going to zoom back out. Do a little bait for you guys and tell you the things that I don't like as well as the things I absolutely love about this mod. Okay, so, like I said, I have a 24 gauge dual microcoil set up in here on the Tobe Addy with a beautiful drip tip from Pink Mule. That's 
pink dash mule. We'll look them up. But um, okay, so I'm gonna give this a little vape. And I'll tell you guys the things I love and the things that I hate. I'm pretty sure during this vape, you will notice one of the things that I hate. Yep, one of the things I hate. Misfire. What I just got was a really, really bad misfire. Okay, so let's talk about what just happened. What that was was that was just a really bad misfire and that happens I'll say every few times I try to fire this puppy up. Like I said, they said it's a spring, but I haven't had time to actually go in and replace the spring, so. No one likes a misfire. Misfires suck. Um, another thing I'm noticing is that that hot finger, it comes after you just keep firing and firing and firing. But I'm one of those people that I like to, you know, ramp it up, fire a little bit, get a little, you know, premature cloud out. Then, you know, I go back and just keep firing it up, getting those big clouds up there, really pushing that vapor out. You know, I love it. I love the sub bone builds. You know, so hot finger issues really bother me. You know, it'll bother anyone, but it doesn't really do anything if you just go and you just You know, then it won't do anything. Then it's perfectly fine. The problem comes where we, you're one of those people who just keeps firing, which I know most of us that do these sub own builds, a lot of us, we are trying to get those clouds out there. Sometimes you gotta prime it a little bit. You know, that's a really that's a really big issue for me. So I'm gonna try replacing the spring and see what happens. The misfiring thing, it doesn't really happen too often. I think what it is, like if I go in there and I fiddle with that spring a little bit, kind of press it a few times, that kind of stuff, and then put it all back together, I get no misfires for like a few hours. What happens is, I think it's when I leave it for a while, you just leave it there. And then you go and you just try to use it, that's when you get an issue. And you know, that's something that, you know, it really shouldn't be happening. It's something that I wish they would have fixed, you know, thought about and really fixed that because it's not, it's not the best of scenarios. But all in all, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good clone. It's heavy, it's weighty, it's hunky, it's beefy. You know, it's really nicely made, and I feel like if I dropped it, it could definitely take a hit. The materials feel really good. Uh, the fact that it's telescopic is really good because I hate battery rattle. And this makes sure that your Addy is always gonna be flush and make sure that that battery is not gonna have that battery rattle. So that is something if you're one of those people that's kind of anal like me about the vaping. You gotta make sure that that's always right or it just kills you. It's really good uh, when it comes to this particular mod. Another thing I'll say that I don't like is sometimes you it feels like you're getting a pretty nasty voltage drop. I'll say on here, even though that's just a, just so you can see, that is really simply just a dual micro coil setup. That's all it is, centered. Do you see that? That was about to be a misfire, but that took that long to ramp up. Now I'm getting this, I'm getting hot finger right now. But you see how little is actually coming off of that at 0.3 ohms? Now, if I was to put this on one of my other mods for comparison, I think we'd notice a totally different scenario. Now, when I first started, when I first started using her, she wasn't really like that. But I really think it's just like certain times. See, even after putting more juice on there, it's still not doing what it normally does. And this is a, this is a wonderful juice, by the way, from Vapor Zone, which I'm gonna be doing a review on. You know, I'm normally getting hella plumes with this. And right now, Fire. Like I said, I'm gonna try that spring, see what happens. But I will say, this is the most it's had these issues ever, is while I'm recording this video right now. I've been vaping on this for a few days now. They sent it out to me, I think I got it on Monday. So I've been vaping on this for a few days, and I haven't had these issues. All things that can go wrong will go wrong, and they normally will happen on camera. So, you know, I guess that's a good thing if you guys ate straightforward view of what this mod is, what it can do, what it cannot do. That juice is so good. You know, everything negative aside, I feel like all of the negatives can be completely solved by just replacing that spring. I feel like that spring is such a large issue here. Uh, the voltage drop thing is really not 
that bad. You know, it's substantial, but it's not huge, you know. You're still gonna get a nice clean vape. You know, for someone who doesn't wanna spend so much money, like I said, Stylish Vapes, who was kind enough to send this out to me to review, they currently have it listed, I think, for, what is this? let's check the computer. They currently have it listed for $45.99, which is just over the price they're charging for their King mod. And right now, if you use coupon code SUBOMETRY on there, then you'll be sh you'll be getting 20% off. And of course, it's free shipping on orders $75 or over. Definitely head on over there, see what they have in store. Um, it's stylishvapes.com. They have a lot of stuff there. You can pick up this mod. Now, for the giveaway, what I'm going to be doing is giving away another Miraxis. That is right, they sent me two of them. One is specifically for the giveaway. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be buying an Addy for it yet. I will, that will be decided. But um, it's the exact same one. Uh, I will be sending it you know, in its original box. And I think I'm going to be running this giveaway for two and a half weeks two and a half to three i'm still deciding right now but all you have to do to win a Miraxis mod clone from smy is to like this video like this video right now subscribe to the sub omen tree youtube channel expect great things they are coming follow us on instagram or tumblr you have to pick one i know a lot of people don't have either you'll have to make one to in order to win this giveaway and that's it that's all you have to do to win one of these mods now for the first giveaway we did we gave away a valkyrie and we gave that to uh, garrett bobby ferguson on instagram so once again congratulations to you but yeah that's all you have to do to win one of these phenomenal mods i might even think about giving away both if i want to go ahead and get another one for myself because i think it's a mod i'll keep actually in my collection i, I kind of like it. there you go thank you for watching our first video ever on youtube and as always vape true vape right and vape on